So this is a pubis to a duck bill, but then there's a vertebra right here while the process is sticking up that's washed up against it. So what that does is helps you determine the flow direction of the river. <clears throat> so this bone got stuck, the water was flowing this way, pushed other things up against it, and they got wedged up against it, just like you see a little log jam in the river. So there's other bones that you can see. We've got another one. Push up there. Push up there. There's a bunch There's right a bunch here there going that way. They, it'll be, once again, they'll be stacked up from this. They'll be stacked up that way. Sometimes they'll go feet. There'll be multiple bones for six, seven, eight, ten feet stacked up against each other. But what's going on here? Because it seems like it should be flat up here. Well, the first thing you want to look at is see how good the preservation is on this. See how pretty this bone looks. Now look at this bone. See the roots? See all the stuff stuck in it? It's kind of broken up a little bit. It's kind of fractured. So what this is, is you can see the layers again coming, and then they start dropping down. You're on the very edge of the hill. You're getting a hillside slump. It's actually that bone is shifting and sliding down the hill and breaking up before it hits the surface. So this is a bone that would have been originally right here. It would have been up or level, yes. But as the hill has eroded, it is sliding that bone. And, and we wanted to show you this because this is something you can actually see. You can see how these fossils go from intact in the ground, nice nice and snug, bug and bug, preserved, all that good stuff, to here's the hill, here's the hill, eroding out. And what happens to these bones when they're underground? Just because they're underground doesn't mean that they're safe. They're still sliding because this hill, it's hard to think of the earth as being liquid, but it really is. This dirt is moving just at a very, very, very slow rate, kind of like a river, and it's pulling these fossils with it. And as it's pulling these fossils, it is separating them apart, dragging them down. If we had to come in and induct this in another 10 years, this would have all been yeah, on the 10 surface. feet behind him and down farther, and then starting to spit out and exclude all of the flat flows where it actually starts eroding out. And gone. So this, this is erosion in the ground and then starting to erode out. 